Right, I'm going to open my Christmas box um, finally now that now that I'm back. Back it up. There's my Christmas box. These are gifts from the server. Oh yeah, a couple of unattainable items. We thought we'd treat people well, like once a year, like um, the ocelot spawning egg. Oh yeah, that's the only I one. I wonder how you got those. Well, no, it's not. F it was Santa. Santa can get. Oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mine, mine claws. Mine claws. Yeah. Um, Santa notch. Mine claws. <laughs> but yeah, that's some good stuff. I'm not saying Santa bought stuff specifically because I needed it. <laughs> uh, what did you lost for? Uh, no, I didn't. No, that's not what I was referring to. Actually, I was referring to the beacon. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. It's great that everyone now has an additional one of those. It's not going to affect the skyline at all. <laughs> well, I think not many people live at spawn anymore, anyway. So that's true. So it wouldn't be too bad. I've got so many shulker boxes for random stuff. Uh, why have I got that? Let's get that out of there. Okay, and as well as that, I'm going to check my shops because somebody told me that I have an ungodly amount of diamonds stored away in my shop. Yeah, um, they're all from me pretty much. Ooh. Okay, flying is not, not working with me today very well. I bought pretty much all of your wood, I think. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I, I didn't buy all of it, all of it, but yeah. <laughs> I'm having some serious problems here. Okay, let's have a look. Um, oh, wow, okay. So, start off already. 13, 43, 44. Jesus. A stack and 13. Uh, a stack and 27, a stack and 29, and then a shulker box full of diamonds also. Was this from, this was from that trade that we did, wasn't it? Yeah, my seed, the seed investment to get me building the bathhouse. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And then these are, f maybe they're a bit expensive. I might lower the price though. So I've got two stacks. Two stacks of diamonds is not a bad Christmas haul. I've been away maybe a month, so that's pretty good. That I do need to restock quite a bit though now, so mm -hmm. we'll, we'll think about that. Nobody's buying apples, but I guess nobody cares about apples. Um, I might increase efforts to sell uh, leaves though. I've had a couple of requests for leaves, which is pretty cool. Sweet, so I'm going to need to sort all my stuff out and part of that is a big chest room that I'm working on. I've actually got too many diamonds that fit in my chests. <laughs> Think of that. <laughs> I've got like seven stacks of diamonds <laughs> and I spent just before Christmas I spent all my diamonds as well. I spent like four stacks. Um, anyway Awesome, okay, so what are you showing me here, Milk? Uh, I can show you the main baths for now. We okay. haven't finished the residential area or the hotel or anything. Okay. Let's go. Is there a way up there yet? Oh yeah, see, there's a staircase coming out of... Um, I mean, yeah, it's a, I don't really know where the road's gonna go here, so I've just sort of left it. We'll work on that, that's right. Yeah. Details. Well, this is the ridge for now. Awesome. So this is the bath house. Yeah, I was, I've been toying and calling it the milk spa, but... <laughs> <laughs> Done. We'll, we'll come to that when it's time. Uh, the main bath are through here, so there's a little changing rooms. If you want to stick your armor and your items in one of these chests, you can take food for it if you want. Okay. And then so... you take one of the caps. Is there a question? How much danger am I in in here? Why am I storing everything? None. Okay. It's we can't go into a bath wearing armor. <laughs> can I go in wearing wings? You can take the, the baby, the swimming hat if you want. Ah, you can take the I... wings. Hang on. No, in I fact, probably do take the wings. Yeah. Do you take the wings? 
I mean, you can use them as a towel. Okay, I'm putting on my spa hat. I'm guessing that's what that is. It's a, yeah, it's a swimming cap, spa hat, head towel, whatever you want it to be. All right, and I'll wear my cape because that's my towel around my neck. Okay. Okay, so we've got, this is the main pool where you can have a little soak. This is glorious. This it's beautifully heated water, it's 45 degrees. Is that too warm? I don't know. Uh, 45 degrees, that's about the temperature of the ones in Budapest we're running. Yeah, there's two different depths, so mm -hmm. you can have a blub blub blub. blub Brilliant. Inside. I love the scene. Have you, have you, is your inspiration for this directly from the Budapest one? Uh, it's a mixture because it's, it's a mixture of a few things. Okay. Um, the interior is more of this spa I went to in Bath. But... Okay. Awesome. I love these plants as well. Yeah, so you've got your little beds here you can lie on. Um, uh, this is the jacuzzi area. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot, or the hot tub area, I guess, because I can't get the bottles to work um, without shooting you out of the bath onto the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so there's two different lava ones. Lava, magma and lava. It's just like a little pool for chilling. That is awesome. Well done. I thought of a way of making bubbles work to not shoot you out. I'd love to see it. We'll discuss afterwards, yeah. Yeah, okay. I hope it shoots you out or submerges you too far. Uh, what's this? The Amelie room. Oh yeah, that's the sauna. Let's have a quick sauna. Oh, this is awesome. So you can climb up onto the bed. You can even put, if you want to stretch out, you can unfold it. So basically, You've just been creating more spots for us to AFK and not actually do any yeah. AFK. <laughs> Me and Amelie have been sitting in here for like half an hour the other day. <laughs> Fantastic. It's got a really good These buckets there. are provided from Knight's. Uh, Knight's Head Shop, right? Yeah, Knight's Head Shop. I'm going to promote start. that because it's sick. I'm going to have to visit Knight's Head Shop. i got a few requests. You can just ask uh, him for anything and he'll make it okay that's sweet okay so what's this over here uh this is the deep pool sometimes squid spawn in there ignore that oh wow it's really <laughs> deep <laughs> <laughs> what the hell it's just in case you want to really submerge yourself and just you know have you seen that what? thing that's going around on instagram in dubai the deepest pool in the world and they've created like an underwater city that you can scuba dive down into like hundreds that's of meters terrifying it's mental that's what this reminds me of a little bit yeah this is supposed to sort of instead a bit of fear but also if people like this stuff they can come down here i really really like it uh good job in this shader pack i'm using it is sick at the bottom of this thing anyway good job right what's next uh so that's the main spa i'll yep. show you the tea rooms so we okay. can you can rearmor if you want, or you can just walk around with your towel. It's fine. Nah, I've got my towel. Yeah. Um. So yeah, if you go this way from the lobby. Oh, hang on one second. I forgot. I forgot something. <laughs> no. This <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> no, really inappropriate. <laughs> I've you also got taken one, leg one lot. <laughs> I don't I know how my, you manage that. I buy my trousers. Oh, I took the sleeve off. I buy my trousers in two pieces and they sort of clip on in the middle. There we go. You're going to have to stand to that. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so yeah, here's the tea room. This is the bar. Eventually you'll be able to get drinks, actual drinks of tea here, but I just haven't stopped it mm, yet. Okay. Um, take a, take some refreshing berries for now that I've ripped out of the spawn area because I hate. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all my berries went. Yeah, they were terrible. Nice, thank you. Um, so yeah, you can chill here and have a cup of tea in time when, when the tea is all brewed. This is like a zen tea room sort of thing. Yeah, this is like a one of those closed in spaces that just tries to make you feel kind of cozy. Mm. Are you planning on putting any staff in this place? Like any uh, villagers? I don't know, I mean... Because one of the villager know, types, I... they, they wear um, like white robes. That could be good. Yeah, I was like, gonna say I need them to be like upper class villagers. Mm, they're like 
I think it's the cleric type. Anyway, I've got a question to ask you. So, from the outside of this building, that yeah. looks like a garden on both sides at the front. What's that? How do we get there? Uh, so, if you go under the stairs here, there's like a staff area. Ah, I see. And there's a wall garden. It's not quite finished yet. I've just been putting in a pool, the koi pond. I love it. Good job. It's going to be a bit more of a secret area that people can come to if they find it. Okay. Or watch this video. So, <laughs> those three people will now know about it. <laughs> Don't worry, none of them are whitelisted. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and on the other side, it's not it's not done yet at all. It's just literally... Well, you can come and have a look behind the scenes if you want. Um, it's pretty horrifying. Oh, this room's a lot bigger. Okay. Oh, my God. I feel like I yeah. shouldn't have seen this. <laughs> Don't <laughs> this look is, too much of that. It's, it's kind of awesome, though. It's like the engine room. You can see where all the fires yeah. are for the different... That's what it's supposed to be, and eventually I'm going to make it so it actually looks like one. A lot of work's gone into this. Really good job, man. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just uh, going to... not done yet. Um, oh, we're not done. Where are you? That's a bit more that you haven't seen yet. Okay, let's go. Uh, so if you come up this way, this is where the hotel and the kind of private spa rooms are going to be. Okay. There's also a little balcony here that looks a nice little view of spawn. Oh, yeah. It's our Christmas tree that's still up, even though it's past the 13th. <laughs> I'm sorting that out in a minute, don't worry. <laughs> Um, this is the hotel layer. Ah. So there's going to be a hotel lobby here. Yep. Uh, there's going to be rooms here. Four rooms, two on each side. Okay. Um, and then there's access to... I mean, yeah, you have to kind of park all around. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, sick! So these are the cold buffs. I was going to say, I'm going to have to request you put a plunge pool in. But yeah, that's yeah, my... You can really shrink your job, these two. That's my favourite bit of any spa, is a plunge pool. Good job. Um, and you might be able to see over there the opposite. Is it exactly the same? Or no, there's hot there's smoke over there. The opposite. Uh, oh God, how are we going to get in there? <laughs> I don't have any. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch through this. <laughs> oh. Not oh, getting yeah. that white concrete back. What block is this under here? Uh, just, uh I think it is warped hypo. Uh, okay. Or, or twisted hypo. Even. Good job. If you look at it, it's animated and it kind of looks simmery. Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's different colours. It looks like charcoal. Man, good job. I really want to uh, just have a quick dip in, in, in there before we get back to work. Um, do you have any food so I could sprint jump off? Do you reckon I'd make that? <laughs> oh, no, I'm wearing, I'm wearing wings, actually. Should have to have a berry and float down on my towel. <laughs> How they do it every spot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what the towels are for. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, glorious. Join me. Nice. Hey, right, thanks a lot, Milk. This is awesome. Um, anybody who's on the server, right. come visit Milk Baths. Come and have a soak. It's completely free entry. Right, time to tear down the Christmas tree. It's been a good Christmas. Are you ready? And get rid of this snow too. Uh, and to get rid of all the snow as well, yeah. Oh, it's so sad. I don't like doing this. Spring is coming. Rejoice. Mm. Alright, Christmas is over. <laughs> Officially. It's cancelled. Um, good job with that. Sorry I didn't help. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you eating that. Um, that spurred <laughs> me on. I was eating popcorn while watching you do that. <laughs> Actual popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I believe, I think these things here are yours, aren't they? Actually, this looks like the sort of stuff I would do in this chest. Uh, I think it's probably yours. Okay. 
Yeah, I think you might be right there. Um, good job. On to the next thing. Let's have a look at these ships. Alright. Have you been on either of them uh, yet? I've had a little, a little tooting around. One of them's quite hard to get onto. Uh, so this this one is knights. So it's got like a little gangplank. I really like this. I really like these. They're supposed to be... I think they're supposed to be like salmon or carrots or something. That's <laughs> awesome. I never even thought to, to use them like that. These blocks. Yeah. I mean, it's a bit of a stretch. A lot of texturage. Has he done a parkour thing here? These are like oranges, actually, really badly. I think there's a secret parkour guide on here. Anyway. Yeah. Sure. I think so. Where do you go from here? I thought you go up the inside of the sail there. Anyway, um, I'm going to go on below decks. Have a quick look down here. There's nothing in these barrels yet. I guess they've just unloaded this thing into the port. But yeah, awesome. Yeah. Good job, Knight. Um, let's head over. Also, um, Knight does YouTube videos. If you want to go check out his channel, link will be in the description. Yeah. He does. He does cool little tours of the server. Uh, right, so this is Dover's ship. This one's hard to get onto. <laughs> How do you do it? Is it this vine here? Oh. Yeah, oh. well, I've never made that jump before. Oh, I guess I did now. But that's typical Dover, isn't it? Builds yeah, something it beautiful and makes it impossible to access. He gets the last laugh. Yeah. Um, He's a tricks to God. But yeah, this is just an awesome little build to add some lore, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It makes it feel more like a real port and less like a weird wooden stain. Um, I've fallen into the bowels of the ship and there doesn't appear to be a way out. <laughs> yeah, you have to fly out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. For me, you wily coyote that <laughs> you're running on the spot for ages. <laughs> oh, do you have to jump, fly out of this bit as well? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, good job, Dover and Knight. Let's just fly out here and have a little look at the port from the sky. It's looking great, isn't it? I really like it, yeah. It's coming along. Good job, guys. Um... Awesome. My building is going to be sprawled across this little end bit over here. My house. Uh, with maybe like a little drawbridge going over that little valley. But I'm going to try and keep it mansion-y. And then what I've done is to start it off is built a tunnel that's going to go down to my chest room. Oh. And the focus of this is going to be, like it always is, it's chest room first, I think. <laughs> and then just build the chest room. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might, um, the chest room is, is going to be an underwater one as well. So oh, you, that's sick. you're going to see the ocean above it or um, something new that I've never really done before. So I've got a it's bit of work cool. to do filling in. This, this tunnel is going to go through the water here on this... Uh, on this pack I'm using, it doesn't look too great down here, but in fact, it's pitch black. I cannot see shit. <laughs> you can have like a glass circle for the ceiling and the floor. Yep. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, so I'll tell you now because I was going to keep it secret until I did it and you'd be all impressed and all this other shit, but it's probably going to need people's help doing it. I've watched a few tutorials and touched up on my uh, redstone skills. And I'm going to do completely fully automated super chest room down here. So I'll have one dump chest up in my house. And obviously, every time I get items, instead of dumping them all over the surfer, I could just dump my inventory into this box and it will sort everything automatically down here. I mean, that would be a, a mercy. That would 
yeah, I mean, the implications of me actually getting that done would would save a lot of people's precious years and their life expectancy. <laughs> um, so it's probably in people's best interest actually to help me out with it. Um, but anyway, for now, what I'm going to do is go down, fill this in, and then um, start the room down here with a beacon. Uh, I'm going to turn off the resource pack to do it, and we'll get on with that. All right, I've done my tunnel, filled it in, glass roof. I'll probably do glass sides here. Need to do the stairs. Need to plan the actual layout of this chest room. I think I've got a plan. Uh, this is high enough as well, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think maybe one more down. So it'll be like that. Right, and now I've just got to stick a beacon down. I think I'm going to go way down into the Undersphere to do that. Undersphere? The Undies. Big typical Undies. Ah. So, I'll go do that now. Uh, whereabouts do I need it? If I'm mining a lot, it's probably going to have to be like literally bang in the middle somewhere. So, like here. Um, I'm going to do the classic mine straight downwards hey. no I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna take a bucket of water and mm, yeah bucket of water mine downwards she's quite um, smart she's doing what I think you're doing she's probably not I'm not what I'm doing doesn't feel smart so you're probably thinking of something else <laughs> yeah that's too much to hurt. Right, let me go get my beacon, my bucket, and however much iron I need. I've actually got a lot of iron. Do not look at what I'm doing when you come past. Mm, I will come. What, that weird staircase thing? Yeah. I don't know how I don't keep dying every time the flying glitch is out, because I keep flying into the size of buildings at about a billion miles an hour. Take a hit with some armor. Pounding. Get out of here, chicken. Right. Let's make a stack of blocks. It's more than that, though, isn't it? It's like a few stacks. I've got, I think, a shulker somewhere with loads of stacks of iron blocks in. Uh, no. I don't know. Anyway, I've got enough iron to make more of those. And I've also got somewhere in here. This is where I smelt my iron, so I've got some more in here to take those. Cool. What does that amount to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be enough. Is three stacks of blocks enough to build the pyramid? Uh, the, 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 I think 180, so yeah. Yep, okay. 180 something. Cool. Let's clean up my iron chest again. Should I put a beacon down too? Yeah, you can put a beacon down if you want, bud. Mine's, mine, Ooh. I don't think mine will reach you because mine's quite fast, so it's probably a good idea, yeah. Right, let's double beacon it. Mine's in my sort of chest area, which is a little bit to the away from you. I'm going to use diamond Jeez, blocks for one. I'm also going to need one of these things and then chest over there. That'll make things easier. But anyway, beacon, iron blocks. You need something to put in there, don't you? I'm going to need a diamond. And it's a great way to stay in shape. Away we go. Let's get over there. So I'm going to put the beacon down at uh, original diamond level, which is zero-ish. Are you not going to the deep, deep down? I don't know. Should I? Is there much use? Do, do you mine deep slate as quickly as you mine stone with efficiency five? I hope so. Okay. 
Uh, I nearly just got my wish then, and I almost died of kinetic energy. So yeah, this beacon for now can just be bang in the middle of what I'm doing here. Are you putting it out to sea a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Cause it's good. Okay, sweet. Yep, that's good, yeah. Uh, I didn't put any water in this bucket, though. Because mine's quite close. I'm doing it about water. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> what is going you on? Know, once... Wait, so if I put that in you my left once... hand... There we go. That is seriously annoying. Right, let's put that. Let's put my shield back in my offhand. That seems to cause more problems than it's worth. Let's go straight down. Don't try this at home, good. Don't try this at home, yep. Okay, I'm at 12 already here. I'm in the deep slate dark. Uh, should I keep going? Keep going. Keep going. Do you hear the whispers in the dark? Well, I should put it right at the bottom anyway, because it doesn't matter where it sort of is. Um, anything above it will be fine, right? Although the world generates now, and the chunks generate in two lots, don't they? Above sixty, above zero and below zero. That'd be fine. Which is something I didn't know until yesterday. Which is quite good. It I means that, that we haven't um, gen we haven't been generating underneath the world necessarily just because of where we've been flying. It's nice. So that can still nice be generated when they do the actual deep when they actually add the deep dark in the next update. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Get some ancient cities up in here. In this bizarre. My biggest fear now, they've added a new worry of digging straight down. It's falling into a massive, massive cave. So we're gonna have to <laughs> MLG. There aren't any under spawn really. I mean there are a few but they're not huge. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Why don't you just place? Well, how are you using that water? I'm gonna MLG water. Oh, I, I could place it and then mine down. Yeah. That would be slower though. Mining. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Uh, it's pretty. It's not much lower at all. Uh, oh, I mined into a cave. Also, this means I've got to go back up and find the source. Oh, diamonds! Oh, sick! What? <laughs> I'm mining three diamonds. How many? I had one, so I just got five diamonds from that. Not bad. Are there any more? Let's have a little dig around. Yeah, boy, there's more! Come on, you always come out smoking like roses. Oh. annoyed. I got 10 diamonds out of that, sick. What an old school Minecraft thing to do, mining diamonds. Anyway. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, what's the lowest you can go now? Minus 64. Yeah, I'm at. How low can you go? I'm at. Oh, some lava I got in there. Right, I'm at the bedrock, 63. Bedrock all around me. Bedrock around me. What's the highest bedrock can generate up? Anyway, here we go. We'll build our beacon from here. Right down in the deep. Do you know how many wide it is at the bottom? Uh, five? Four, three, two, one. Yeah, so what I just said. Five, four, three, two, one. Surely it's not. Fun no, that can't be <laughs> <laughs> from the center. Five out from the center. Five so out. Ten by ten. So it's twenty on the base, right? No. Are you also down in the deep block? Yeah. I've created a lava world down here. <laughs> I really screwed the pooch this time. Who the screech? So the base is, what is it, 9x9 nine nine, then 7x7? Seven seven. I believe so. That's a lot of iron. It's not what you originally told me, which was 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yeah. I am shocked. 
you know how long I spent trying to make that work? <laughs> I'm shocked that you took that face value. I've used an entire stack up on less than the first base alone. <laughs> is that right? Yes, it is. Okay. No, the first one should be, yeah, it should be 81 blocks. So a okay. stack and 20. Okay. Oh, it's really nice down here. Everything. Why I actually help happens. you? Can I just say <laughs> I instantly helped you with legitimately helpful advice. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> what do you mean? I tried to help. It <laughs> deliberately <laughs> misled me. Um, it's funny how we're doing the same stuff parallel. We're building together. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to screw me over. <laughs> Next, it was an honest mistake. It's a dishonest purpose take. Okay, done. Beacons look awesome as well. Let's put a diamond in there. How do you diamond? How do you do this? Don't use a diamond to power a beacon. Silly, it's all I've got. I'm swearing in your recordings. I got more iron. How how do you actually do this? Do you know? You put it in there. Click the boss you want. I was doing that. Do you have to you get rid of the water? A... It can't be obscured by a solid block. Is a torch a solid block? No. Where have you put it? I think there's a torch up here somewhere. Underwater. It should shine through a torch. No, there's no obscure. Oh, yeah, there is. I did this underwater. Oh, for f yeah, I'm being an idiot. Hang on a minute. Uh, I don't want to. I'm going to go back to spawn and come back at it from a different angle. Giggity. It just avoid me. Oh, yeah, I could have avoided you to do it for me. That would have been a lot more sensible. And now I'm glitching out. Okay. Nine. So. That's what was causing the problems. There's the water. Now I believe some gravel is also down there. And when I remove said gravel... Actually, do you know what? Should I... Oh, it started raining. Put some glass. Remove it. I want to see where it is. Where would the glass go? Here. There we go. Oh my god. That should get rid of the water. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Oh, that was close. The water hadn't gone yet. Why did I just jump down there without thinking? <laughs> that would have been the end. Uh, I did it again. I just don't know what's going on right now. Le oh, the water's still going Le down. Le I'm slowly descending into the night. Uh, so here's the source block. So let's get rid of that and hope we don't die when we... Oh, it's raining. It's a thunderstorm. I did it again and just blindly jumped into the night. Uh, is this water still descending or... What's happening? There's more source blocks. Ah, oh, there's a cave here. This is getting very complicated now. Let's block this cave. You can off. have water in the way, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but I don't want water in the way. Do you understand? I'm trying to get to the bottom and I keep hitting water. Okay, so here we go. When I get rid of this gravel here, the beacon should light up. Na, 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 na. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's the colour of milk. Haste. Haste to tick. Right, let's see if... I'm coming down. No, it doesn't work on... Okay. It doesn't work on Deep Slate. Can I break the slots? No. You can if you replace it. I don't know how to get back out of it. I didn't think about this. Oh, you can fly glass. straight up. Okay. <gasps> so... <gasps> no! No! Oh my god, that nearly killed me. So, this is stone level. I want to go just a bit above here. Go. A bit of a hasty one. 
got a hasty tasty one. Let's you did the exact in. same thing as me with the vegan root. <laughs> that made a big square. Yeah. Actually, no, I didn't do it that stupidly. Did you break the... Okay. Anyway, this will be my resource area underneath my base. I can collect some more resources. And Please then... don't tell me you did it. Pardon? You got rid of the water. I didn't. I didn't. Hey, oh, time. there's glass. That's glass. No. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Hang on, I'll let you through. There you go. <laughs> Are you up? Are you on your way up? Coming. There we go. Mm. What was that layer you were at? So. It's diamonds right there. Are there? Anyway, so the reason why I did that is so I can mine this area out. Look at that. Look at the improvements that has made already. So How much of this out. did you do without a lot? Beacon. The whole staircase so. and the beginning of this room. But now it should be easier anyway. I think we're good there. Nice. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. We'll be back Share in the next episode. Share it with your relatives. Share it with everyone. Share it with your cousins, guys. Show more love to your cousins. Come on, they relate to you. Exactly. Um, cool. Stay pink. Bye.